Hey everyone, back inside today um, for chapter 47 of The False Prince. So, I'm just going to jump right in. Chapter 47. Morning came early. I barely slept at all. One thought after another had tumbled through my mind faster than I could make sense of it. For most of the past four years, I had accepted the idea that I would be sage for the rest of my life. Letting that go and allowing myself to be Jaren again was way more difficult than I had anticipated. I was already awake when Connor tried to kick me into consciousness, so his foot hit my hands and nothing worse. Then he called for Imogen to wake up and go downstairs to order us a breakfast. Ours was to be served in our room, then she could take something to the boys in the carriage. He gave her no instructions on when she could eat. He does not treat Imogen with the proper respect that she deserves. I don't know if you guys have noticed that, but he definitely treats her like someone that he hates or just doesn't care about. Uh, which is unfortunate because Sage is the total opposite, right? He actually cares about Imogen. So I'm sure seeing Connor treat her like this is heart-wrenching. It just ruins his soul sometimes. It's like, oh, Imogen. So sad. All right. <clears throat> we'll stay here in the room until it's time to leave, Connor said. I've only got hours left to prepare you for presentation. I am prepared, I grumbled. Connor smirked at me. I would have expected more humility from you today. Our highest priority is to rehearse the order of action tonight. And don't try to tell me how you know about that. I didn't. Tell me then. Get dressed and straighten this room first, or else the maids will wonder about our arrangement last night. I have a few duties for Mott to attend to this morning that I must speak with him about. By the time I dressed and replaced the hanging sheet and my blanket on Imogen's bed, Connor was returning with Imogen right behind him. She carried a tray that she set on a table in our room. I wondered if she had risked speaking to the staff to order our breakfast, or if not, how she had communicated our order to them. Maybe it's a good thing you brought her along, Connor said. It's handy to have a traveling servant. I thought that's what Mott is for, I said. He's more than a common servant. Surely you've noticed that by now. Connor left, or excuse me, Imogen left as quickly as she, as she could, and Connor handed me a plate filled with hot cakes, eggs, and thick slices of bacon. Large breakfast, I said hungrily. This is nothing compared to what lies ahead for you, Connor said. Once you're the prince, you may tell your servants anything you wish to eat, and they will provide it for you. They will feed it to you, if you so desire. I don't. There's no need to tempt me for this position, Connor. You have me. Now tell me about this court tonight. All 20 of the king's regents will meet in the throne room at 5 o'clock. Also, there will be the king's closest advisor, the High Chamberlain Lord Kerwin. No need for you to know all of their names. Jaren likely would not have known them, so no one will expect you to. I didn't know all of them, but there were some I expected to recognize. Kerwin would know me best. He'd suffered through my childhood beside my family, but would he recognize me after all this time? It was doubtful. I'd changed a lot in four years. Connor continued, the first act of the meeting will be to officially announce the deaths of the king, queen, and, cr and crown of Prince Darius. I winced at that. Connor didn't notice. He never had before either. The announcement is merely a formality. It's just something we have to do, right? That's what that means. Most of the regents have known this from the start, and the others will have heard enough rumors to confirm the likelihood in their minds. Then we'll have a report from the three regents who traveled to Avenia to seek any news as to the life or death of Prince Jaren. 
They will report a confirmation that he's dead. How do you know? I ask. Because he is dead, Connor snapped. Who do you think hired the pirates so many years ago? Dun dun dun! The news knocked the wind from my lungs. It overwhelmed any sense of pretense I'd been able to maintain thus far with him. All that kept me from attacking him was this was the knowledge that I still wanted him with me at the castle tonight. Why? My voice was hoarse. I didn't trust myself to say anything more. I thought it'd force us into war with Avenia. Eckbert stood by and did nothing year after year while Avenia inched its way deeper into Carthian lands. But if Avenian pirates killed his son, he'd be forced to act. Unfortunately, despite the pirates' assurances to me that everyone on the ship went down, Jaren's body was never found. Eckbert was able to appease his critics by saying they wouldn't go to war unless he had Jaren's body as evidence in the attack. However, Avenia has backed off since their suspected involvement in Jaren's death, so, in a way, my plan worked better than I could have hoped for. Our borders are safer, and no war was needed. Connor paused as if he expected me to say something. What did he want? Congratulations? He seemed to sense my discomfort, then added, I know this secret is safe with you because you can't reveal it without betraying your own true identity. No, I mumbled. I can't betray my identity. Yet. Now, is this some foreshadowing going on right now? If you answered yes, you're correct. <laughs> um, Jaren is going to have to betray his uh, identity, right? Because right now, he's Sage. He's going to have to betray that to prove that he is Jaren. So Connor may not know this yet, but he sure will find out. And that is why it's foreshadowing. We know something that's going to happen later. So, there you go. <coughs> My daily sneeze. You're welcome. <laughs> all right, all right, sorry. Moving on. Connor brushed his hands together as if the matter were settled. So, let's continue. When the three regents report that Prince Jaren is dead, this will be the time when, as the High Chamberlain, Lord Curlin will stand and declare that a new king must be chosen. However, before he stands... I will come forward and announce that the regents were wrong about Jaren's death. That's when I'll introduce you to the court. There will be a bit of a commotion initially, but Kerwin will have you brought to him. There will be several questions, a careful examination of you. It will take some time, and no matter what they say, you must answer calmly and with confidence. You must keep your sharp tongue under control. And you must not make a single mistake. Can you do it? I can. That pleased Connor. Good. We'll work on your answers through much of today. Make sure you know everything to say. And of course, I'll be there to assist should you get into any trouble. I pushed my plate aside, unable to eat anything else. Connor pushed it back to me. You must have your energy today. I shoved my chair behind me and stood. You said you have proof I can offer them. What is it? Later, Connor said. You don't get that unless I'm certain you are going to be declared prince tonight. You have only a few hours to learn everything you must. If you've finished eating, are you ready to get started? I closed my eyes and tried to control my breathing. My heart raced at the prospect of all that lay ahead of me that day. No matter what Connor told me or tried to teach, one thing was certain. I was not, nor would I ever, be ready. But that wasn't what he wanted to hear. So I looked at him and said, Okay, let's begin. <sighs> this book is so good. How many now? 
you'll have to ha email me or message me Google Hangouts. Okay, it's just my email. Um, how many of you guys like saw it coming that Connor was the one that ordered the pirates? I know the first time that I read this book, I did not see that coming. I thought that Connor was the one that killed the king, queen, and Darius, but I didn't realize that he was the one that sent the pirates to kill Jaren. What? This book is so good. I hope you guys are enjoying these videos. Um, I know they're kind of short and we're only reading a chapter, chapter or maybe two a day, um, but I hope you're enjoying them overall. Um, Keep looking here. Uh, the questions today, super easy. I explained them while I was reading. Okay, you got this. Um, otherwise, I think that's it. Cool. Have a good weekend, guys. I will see you guys on Monday. Peace.